So this will serve as a quick video update. Got the car to the point where the next steps are putting on the paneling so it will never be quite so visible again. Starting at the back of the car, you can see the uh, differential is in place and the differential extensions. Sprocket's not yet on there. Well, I've received it, I have to machine it to fit, to match the bolt pattern on the differential. Rocker arms in place. The engine's in place. That was a big one. The new oil pan on the bottom. Waiting for some long bolts for the rear engine mounts, which I think I ordered from England. So everything's not really tightened down yet, but everything's in place. Or should say the engine's in place. Wiring harness is not in place. It's spread all over the place right now. Shifters in. Fire extinguisher. Dashboard, steering wheel, the entire steering column. The brake. Master cylinder reservoirs over there. What passes as a floor in this car? For the driver's feet, that is. Pedal clusters in. Steering rack. Front suspension rocker arms. See them there. There you go. Springs and shocks in the front. Fuel pump, shoulder harness mounts, All right side engine mounts, forward, and the rear dif right side differential extension with the bearing. <clears throat> That's about it. That's where we are right now. So next step is to put on the seat bottom and then the interior paneling and the exterior paneling. Once I get the exterior paneling on, I can put on the oil cooler and the radiator and then you can start worrying about plumbing the whole thing. That's the story.